Today we're going to use the app Pick Collage for Kids, and since it was World Emoji Day yesterday, we're going to make an emoji pick collage. So first of all, you're going to want to open up your Pick Collage app. Once you open it, you will see these different things, and we're going to use the free style section because some of the other ones are paid. We're going to use the free part. Then it comes up with these four sections, and we are going to tap the one that has a background because our photo is going to be the background. Now you're going to want to have your photo on your camera roll that the students have taken of their own face. And up here at the top where it says all photos, I'm going to tap and I'm going to go to my favorites because that's where I kept my picture. You can have it right on your camera roll. I have a lot of pictures so I wanted it easy to find. And I made it black and white so the emojis will really pop on the picture. So I'm going to select my picture and it's going to be for my background. Once I have my picture selected, I can go down here in this little box where there's a grid like thing I can tap that and I can change it to a different shape mine is more square so I want a square one usually it'll give you a really big and tall photo which you can use that too so I'm going to tap the square section here and then you can see it made my thing square I'm going to tap the check mark down in the corner you can also choose any of these other grids if you tap on them to make your picture in those shapes but we're just going to stick with the square today and now I'm ready to add my emojis. To add everything, I'm going to add the plus. Tap the plus button. The plus is what's going to add all my things to my screen. So once I tap the plus button, you can see my four choices come up again. And there's photos, text, stickers, and background. We're going to use text every time for the emojis. And I'm going to type first things that, I, that surprise me. So you can see that it is a yellow background, and if I don't want that, I can tap this over here, and I won't have any background on my emoji or my text. And the little A gives me my color of my font, and the little T, if I tap that, gives me the choices of my fonts. So I have font choices, color of font, and then font background choice. So you can see the kids have a lot of variety when they make these. So I'm going to type things that surprised me and as you can see everything's going to go here in this little skinny box and if the kids need to edit anything they need to go back right into this little skinny box things that surprise me they can hold their finger down and it will magnify it they need to get closer in any section and I'm going to put a background color on mine so that it does show up better so I'm going to tap the paint and I'm going to pick a color that I like and I'm going to drag it towards the bottom of my screen. I like my kids to also put their names on their pictures, just first names. I always have them just do first names. That way if we have a bunch of them and people want to know who they are, they can know at least their first name. To add everything else, I'm going to put the text button and I need to make sure I get rid of that color, put that zero, like the no color there. And then everything's going to come, if I tap in the little black section, it's going to come through my emoji keyboard. So my emoji keyboard's coming up, and I'm going to pick some things that surprise me. Well, a mouse in my house is something that surprises me. I live in the country, and sometimes I get mice in my house. It's not fun when a little mouse surprises you in your house. So the kids can add these, and then they can either write about them, or you can just use it as a telling. So it can be really elaborate for any grades that you want. So here I have the mouse in the house, and as I'm going to add some more things to my things that surprise me, I'm going to put the plus every single time, and this time I'm going to pick something else that surprises me. So I'm going to scroll through my emojis and presents. If I get a present for my birthday or for Christmas, that pretty much surprises me when I don't know what people are getting me. So I'm going to pick the present, and I'm just dragging my finger to make that bigger somewhere on my screen. And if I want to move it later, I can move it. I'm going to tap another add text, and this time I'm going to pick another thing that surprises me, and it's rainbows. I can see rainbows sometimes when there's rain and sun, but sometimes when I think there should be a rainbow, there's not. And sometimes it's just all of a sudden there's a beautiful rainbow, especially the double rainbows. They really surprise me. And I'm going to add another surprising thing and this time I'm gonna pick fireworks fireworks can surprise you with the sounds like when you don't know when they're gonna go off 
and they almost make you jump sometimes. So this is my little firework sample. And I'm going to add that to my things that surprise me. And I'm going to pick one more thing here that surprises me in mail that I get from friends or family. When I'm not expecting it, that can really surprise me. So I love getting mail in the mailbox. Now that we have all the digital age, it's kind of surprising. So now my picture is... Oh, I'm going to add a surprise emoji here and put that with my text down at the bottom. So now my picture is almost complete. And what I love about this is you can save, if you put just, well, I can drag these things around if I want to on my screen, wherever I want them, or resize them, get them exactly how I want them. And if I tap this up in the corner, the arrow, the back arrow shows me that I have all these pic collages that I can go back and work on. So if I want to delete them, I just click that red X up in the corner to delete them. But if I want to work on them again, I can open them back up and rearrange them. Or if I mess up on typing, which is very good. If I want to trash something, I just drag it up to the trash can. If I want to undo it, I hit the undo. And then when I'm completely done, I have the box in the corner with the arrow. I'm going to save it. And I don't have to do anything else that just goes right to my camera roll and it's ready to use in Seesaw or whatever I want to use it in. If I use Canvas or any kind of learning management system for my classroom where I want them to share their work, or they can just keep it on their iPad and share it with the class. I'm going to go to my photo roll here and check. And there is my things that surprise me emoji. Collage. It's all finished. One other thing I want to show you about the pic collage is why I like the pic collage for kids is we've had trouble with kids getting onto bad images, so I use this for all the kids all the time. And I go to my settings in my um, app. I go to my settings app, and I'm going to scroll down until I find the pic collage app. Should be in alphabetical order, but sometimes they're not. Pick Kids, I'm going to find the Pick Kids app. Once I find it, I'm going to tap on it, and that's going to let me into the settings for the app. And if kids accidentally say, don't allow access to photos, you need to change it here where it says photos. They're going to, you're going to want to turn that on to green. So you make sure the photos, turn that on to green. That will give them access to their photo roll. And then allow photos from web. Make sure that is turned off. We don't want to allow photos from web. Now, if your school allows that, that's okay, but... I always make sure that's turned off. My kids don't even know there's an option. And that's how to make a pic collage emoji.